Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of... No, it's not for the week. It's for the month, okay? It's for the month of April. This could happen at any time in April, okay? So what do we have for Gemini for April? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Stellium, Jupiter, whatever. Wherever Gemini falls in your chart. What do we have for Gemini? That was a, that was a pile. We're, not, we're, only, we're looking for one. These cards aren't shuffling very well. Weird. Um, I'm going to take this one. A change in the wind. A change in the wind. So this is the winds of change, right? Things are going to change. I'm going to read it. Change of circumstances. A sense that a sense that unseen change has been initiated. Preparation for a storm. Awareness that your plans are not on firm ground. Feeling a shift, uncertainty about which direction the wind will blow. It's human nature to yearn for certainty and resist change. To want the world to remain consistent like a zebra's stripes. Yet nothing in human experience is black and white, nor will anything remain static. The one thing guaranteed is change. Now is a time of transformation as outer conditions are temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Stay the course and remember that even storms serve to clear the air, scatter seeds, and nourish the soil for better things ahead. Life is about to get interesting. Anticipate it with curiosity as you wonder what is coming in on the shifting winds. The unknown is where the magic lies. Relationships go through periods where partners seem out of sync with each other and stormy emotions and moods threaten to take down the ship. Perhaps someone has a change of heart and leaves. These rough seas offer opportunities for mutual growth, a way for you to understand your own heart better and to know what you need to be truly happy. Rest assured that whatever is happening now, good will come from it. Take temporary shelter and remove yourself from drama. The air will clear and everything will be fresh and new again. This too shall pass. So be ready. Be ready for a change because life is about to get interesting. What do we have for Gemini? Stormy weather ahead. The world. The world is a major completion of a project, a phase, something that has affected your life in a very big way, something big. This could be a marriage, it could be a relationship, it could be a graduation, it could be a job that you've done for forever. Something is coming to an end. And that is what is going to change. It's something that helped you to evolve into the person that you are today. So be prepared. And this is a major change. This is the last card in the deck. It means somebody's journey with a certain situation is coming to an end. That lesson has been learned. Whatever you needed to learn from whatever that project was has been learned. It's time. It's time for you to move on to the next chapter, the next journey of your life. Okay. So this is, this is a completion. Um, everything changes and you are about to embark on a new journey. It doesn't look as though it's something that you care for. You know, it's you, you change is difficult. Change is not easy, but it's needed. And nothing stays the same, okay? There could be a change of residence here for some of you, okay? Maybe a change of residence could be with a job, 
okay? It could be with the home that you live in, or there could be a change where you live where somebody is moving out, you know what I mean? Um, or they're moving in. But whatever is happening, there's a major completion in your life, okay? There's your get prepared card. Hope for the best. Pray and hope for the best. This could be an arrival or a departure. Somebody has been waiting. The time is up. Time's up. It's either time to get on board or not. You know what I mean? Um, or if somebody's been waiting for an arrival. If you've been waiting for an arrival, here it is. If you've been waiting to leave, you've been waiting for you know a departure, time is now. Okay? Nine of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands. King of Cups in reversed. We had one that fell out, so I gotta take it. Queen of Coins in reversed. Six of Coins. Just give me something in the past. Page of Swords. So you could be dealing with somebody that is younger than you that is causing problems. I don't know if it's a child or somebody that is just immature. This is a troublemaker. It's an enemy in the camp. This is somebody that uh, is argumentative, may have mental health issues. Um, this is some gossip perhaps. You have somebody here that is not your friend. We've been talking about this person as of lately. Page of Swords and Reversed is somebody that is a troublemaker of some sort. Um, maybe saying things about you or causing you problems. Those are messages right there. Maybe um, relaying information. Doesn't It's probably not true. It's not true. There's, I mean, because this person lies. Um, maybe you need to turn your back on this person. Completely turn your back on this person. Okay. You may have to completely stop communicating with this person, go no contact, end it completely, you know, and it could be, it could be a family member. I'm not sure if it is, but it could be, it could be a friend. It could be whoever this person is. They do not have your back. And I feel like they're gossiping, gossiping about you. They're talking about you. They're spreading lies. Somebody is spreading lies. This person is in their emotions. They're in their feelings. They can't master their emotions. This is somebody that is very secretive, probably vindictive, maybe even revengeful towards you. I feel as though it's time for you to focus on the future and turn your back. No more communicating with this person. You need to stop communicating with this person completely. Completely. Okay? I feel like you need to give deep thought to this the relationship with this person. This person has caused you a lot of stress. They have caused you a lot of anxiety. They have caused you a lot of despair. Um, it's almost like a lot of sleepless nights as well. I feel like they've made you feel insecure. They've made you unstable. Whoever you are dealing with is mentally unstable. And I feel like they try to scare you. They like to scare you. They, that's, that's, it, maybe that's what their goal is, is to keep you frightened, to keep you on your toes. I feel as though, um, right now you have to... Um, stop giving this person your energy and so that you can receive something more positive. This is about give and take, okay? If you give this person your energy, then all it's doing is draining you, okay? It's, it's exhausting you. You need to stop giving this person your energy. And I feel like this month you have an opportunity to bring balance to your life, but the only way to bring balance to your life is to stop investing in whoever this person is. I feel like you're going to, this is receiving an offer. You are going to receive an offer from somebody, but I feel like, I feel like you won't take it. I feel like you don't want to take this offer. I think somebody's going to make you an offer and you're going to give deep thought to it. This could be somebody from your past that is, that has hurt you, that has neglected you, that has betrayed you, that has lied to you, that has spread lies about you. You know, this could be somebody that, you know, wants you to forgive them. I feel like you need to continue on your path, okay? Um, Queen of Coins reversed. That's in your future. That's that's not valuable. It's not stable. It's not secure. I, you could be dealing with somebody that is not financially stable or secure or, 
you know, this person is jealous or they have some sort of uh, ulterior motives. I feel like you do have somebody that has ulterior motives that, you know, is probably going to be making you an offer, but it's not a real genuine offer, okay? I think that you need to continue to focus on your future and and not uh, go down that path. I really, really, really do. Um, and the present is the Three of Wands, okay? Get prepared to receive a message or messages from somebody that I think this person has betrayed you, okay? I think this person has... Uh, shut down their feelings for you, you know, or some, it, it could be a child, it could be a child, could be an ex, could be a family member, could be a father, could be anybody. There, There is somebody here that um, is going to make you some sort of proposal and I suggest that you, you know, do not engage with it. Do not, do not. Um <laughs> Now, this is extreme regrets. You may be dealing with somebody who really, really regrets uh, not seeing your value. Maybe they didn't see your value. They didn't see your worth. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. cups. Ten of cups is fulfillment. It's emotional fulfillment. It's a spiritual blessing. I think that you need to wait for something. You need to wait for abundance. You haven't, you, you, this is all, there's always a choice. This is wait. Wait. Wait for the happiness that you deserve. Wait for the emotional fulfillment that you deserve. Because this is Wait. Wait, there's, there's happiness to be had. And you deserve reciprocation. You deserve equality. You deserve, you know, that equal give and take. You, This is a new beginning. This is a lesson learned. You, you, I think that you're going to be tested this month. I think that you're going to be tested. Have you learned your lesson? So I think that you have somebody here that... that uh, withdrew from you. They probably did not communicate with you. You know, they they may have involved themselves with somebody else. And I feel like now they may be coming back around. But anyway, Gemini, I feel like this cycle is over. I feel like you, this cycle is over. The world card is about turning your back on the past, focusing on the future. And this is the focus, same thing. So you're going to have to make a choice, Okay. Life is definitely about to get interesting for you. You definitely have an opportunity for happiness, for abundance. This, this is an extremely happy relationship. But you have to know your value. You have to know your worth. And I feel like this is a choice, okay? It is a choice. You have a bright future ahead. You know, this, I think that you have been through stormy weather. Okay, and you know what comes after a storm and when the sun comes out is a rainbow. So what's at the end of the rainbow is a pot of gold. But you have to get through that storm first. So I do believe you're going to go through some stormy weather with somebody. And it, and it doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a child. It can be a family member. It can be a friend. You're going to be experiencing some turbulence. Okay, and I think there's somebody that is going to be talking behind your back. Okay, and but it's interesting because this is like an enemy in disguise. It could be a hater. You know, this person may may communicate with you and say things that you know behind your back, but they're saying something completely different to you. So I think that you may need to investigate. There's also somebody here that is spying. They're watching you. They are watching you. They're watching you very closely. Okay, and I feel like this person uh, probably. I feel like this person is having some serious regrets. They are having serious regrets for not um, seeing your value. I think we already talked about that. Anyhow, I think that right now you have an opportunity. You need to wait. You need to wait for, for the happiness that you deserve. This is wait for the happiness, the fulfillment that you truly, truly, truly deserve. 
okay? You deserve to have it all. You deserve abundance. You deserve something permanent, okay? This is the storm is over. So for some of you, you, you may be at the beginning of the month, you go through some stormy weather. By the end of the month, things start to get better. Something arrives. It's something that you asked for that brings balance to your life. But you may not know your value. You may not know your worth because of whatever this situation is over here. Okay? You have a new beginning here. You absolutely do. Endings lead to new beginnings. This is an ending card. This is an ending card. So I do believe that you have a new beginning, that this is, this is, this is happiness. It's fulfillment. It's a new life. Okay? It's a new era. It's a new you. You may be even going to the beach with somebody. You may be meeting somebody at the beach. Um, I do believe that you are going to be receiving something that you asked for. Because what comes before the Ten of Cups is the Nine of Cups. So I think that you asked for something. A cycle of struggle is just about over for you with an individual that did not see your value and worth. And I think you're about to receive an offer from somebody that does. But unfortunately, I think you have a lot of un insecurities. I feel like you're insecure now. You're, you're, you're insecure. You're insecure. You may not trust. Um, Eight of coins, that's put in effort, that's work. It's not going to be easy. Two of wands, reverse, sudden arrival, sudden return. This is a choice that you need to make, to put in effort or not to put in effort. I feel like you, you there's obviously a choice between two people here. I think you have two choices. You can stay stuck in the past. You can continue to communicate with this person that doesn't value you, that causes you problems or you can continue or you can focus on the future um, you're going to be at a crossroads you're going to have to make a choice between two options this month um, you have somebody here that is a hard worker that probably wants you to give them a chance um, I feel like there's there's somebody old here and somebody new okay um, you're going to have to make a choice. Do you want to focus on the future or you want to focus on the past? My suggestion is to let the past go because the world card suggests that and so does the three of wands. It's time to focus on the future and hope for the best. You're going to be receiving messages probably from both of these people. Knight of Cups reversed. Now, the Knight of Cups reversed is emotionally unavailable. You know, we have a heartbreaker here. We have a broken engagement or a withdrawn invitation or an unrequited love situation or a disloyal friend. We have somebody here that is probably going to be upset, emotionally upset over having to make a choice in regards to a relationship. This is in regards to a relationship. Emotions may be all over the place. You may have a hard time mastering your emotions. You're going to need to master your emotions. I feel like for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody that is disloyal. You know, this person uh, comes in and sweeps you off your feet with all the right words and then they drop you like a hot potato when things get rough. You could be dealing with somebody who has, you know, uh, some sort of addiction. It could be a drug addiction, a sex addiction, whatever. And you ha and maybe you've been trying to ignore it. You can't ignore it. You're gonna have to make a choice between two people. And I and I feel like uh, somebody may have done that to you they may have chosen an unrequited love situation and invested in that and it, and maybe they want forgiveness from you i feel like somebody wants forgiveness from you now they want now they want to to have a relationship with you because perhaps it ended with that other person but i feel like you have moved on i think you're gonna have to make a very difficult decision this month For some of you, I feel like you have a stalker, you know, with this card and this card. You may have somebody here that just, you know, doesn't want you to move on. They're watching you. So I feel like you're being watched by somebody. And I feel like this person is emotionally unstable. 
okay? I feel like we have a withdrawn invitation here as well. It's like somebody gets invited to go somewhere and they may accept and then they say, nope, sorry, I don't want to go. You know, there could be a withdrawn invitation. Um, I think uh, there could be, I feel like there's a sudden arrival or return, you know, of somebody that, that hurt you. And it, and it may be, it may be when you're, you're already with somebody else or you've just started something new with somebody else. I think that you're, you're, you're going to struggle to decide what choice. This is struggling right here. What should I do? Should I be in a relationship? And maybe for some of you, you may not know your value. You may not know your worth. You may not want to be in a relationship because you may not think you're good enough. But this is something working out. The Eight of Cups. I mean, the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Wands. <laughs> Damn it. It's not the Eight of Wands either. We got the Eight of Wands over here. This, this is the Eight of Coins. That's something working out. We have something, somebody that wants to put in effort. They want to show you what they can do. We have somebody here that is very, very skilled. And they could be skilled at manipulation because this is skilled and this Knight of Cups reverse is manipulation. I think that you probably are going to need to use discernment this month. You are going to be receiving an offer that appears to make you extremely happy. But I think there's a choice between two options. There is. There's a choice between two. I think you have somebody that is emotionally unavailable that may need something from you. They may have hidden agendas. Maybe they need financial stability or something like that. And you have another offer as well. I think that you need to be very careful. I think that you're going to be caught off guard. I think you're going to be caught off guard by from met by messages. I think you're going to receive messages from somebody uh, that is untrustworthy. Honestly, I feel like this person is untrustworthy. I feel like you need to wait for the one that is going to reciprocate, that can really make you happy, that is in alignment with your values. I don't feel like this person that is going to be messaging you, one of them is in, in alignment with your values. And I feel like you need to continue moving forward. I think you have been moving forward. And I think that you need to continue to move forward. Continue to focus on your future. Okay? I feel like whoever you are dealing with may have been rejected or they have gotten out of a relationship with somebody. And now they see your value. I think it's a little too late. And may, but then again, we have somebody here that doesn't know their value, so they may think it's going to work because we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and somebody don't know their value. I know exactly who she is. I don't know my value. You may think you can put in effort with somebody that is emotionally unavailable. Think again. Unless you have not learned your lesson. You're, you're, you're going to be tested. You are absolutely going to be tested this month. A test of your value and your self-worth and what you have learned from being neglected. I feel like this, this chapter of your life this is probably closure. You may be closing a chapter. This is completion. It's a major completion of a cycle. You have learned your lesson. So they're going to test you to see if you have. This is the end of something very prominent in your life that is not bringing you the stability or the security that you deserve. And you have a better option here.
you do and you're gonna get another op offer as well so you're it's basically like two offers here so you're gonna have to make a decision do you go back to the past or do you go down the other path so I feel like this is going to be a very and, and, and this doesn't have to be in regards to a relationship it could be moving it could be traveling it could be relocation this is about stepping into unknown territory. One more card. Five of coins. Five of coins is a card of, well, it's a struggle for one. Fives are struggles. This is going to be a struggle. It's going to be, you're going to be conflicted. You're going to be conflicted over, you know, what you deserve. I feel like you've been ghosted. You've been neglected by somebody. And you're dealing with somebody that may be struggling financially. And I think I already said this. Somebody may need your help. They're not really emotionally available. They may need your financial help. Okay? I feel like you need to be very, very careful with whoever this person is. There's insecurity here. Definitely. Definitely. And I feel like you're going to be insecure. I feel like you may not. I think that you need to wait. I think that you need to wait. You need to wait until you can... You know, maybe you need to heal from your own insecurities before you get yourself into a relationship. Anyhow, I do see somebody putting in effort, working really, really hard, you know, uh, doing good. And I feel like there is somebody here that is, you know, financially unstable or mentally unstable that needs their help and they may take advantage of them and, and you know you may be looking for a relationship you're looking for a relationship this person it's almost like you think about that show i think it's dirty john you know this guy appears to have a good job he appears to have it all he says all the right things and he's a narcissist Be careful. Wait. I do think that life is about to get interesting this month. You got somebody here that probably is a big talker. They are not emotionally available. You may you they may say all the right things. They may make all the right moves. But you're going to have to use discernment. Do not rush into anything. Take your time, be practical, be realistic. There's ungroundedness here. This is a lack of being grounded, definitely. Queen of Coins reversed, Knight of Cups reversed. We got somebody here not being realistic at all. Totally in their feelings, not fantasy. This is like a fantasy-driven relationship. Wake up. So anyway, you're going to be receiving an offer from somebody that is not emotionally available. I suggest that you do not communicate with this person. Okay? Focus on your future. Unless you haven't learned your lesson about your value and your worth. Remember... A fantasy land exists at Disney World, right? It's not real. If it seems like it's too good to be true, it is. For example, if you can only if somebody only communicates with you at certain times of the day, that's a red flag. Pay attention to the red flags. I don't know why I said that to you. You have to pay attention to red flags. It's because there's messages, and I feel like the messages are only at certain times of the day. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to the signs this month. You will receive the signs. 
This person may think that they are sly, but if you really open your eyes, you will see very, very clearly that there's some sort of deception here. I was saying, you're going to receive two offers. You're going to receive an offer from somebody that is not financially stable. Okay, this person is not stable, they're not mentally stable, they're not emotionally stable. stable. But, they speak, okay, they speak of it, okay, they're, they're skilled, they're skilled at manipulation. You're going to have to look below the surface, you're also going to receive an offer from somebody that is, um, brand new brand new and you're gonna have to choose you're gonna because the two of wands is about a choice from the past or the future you don't want to repeat the same mistakes the world card is about learning from your previous mistakes there you are going to be tested you're going to be tested have you learned from your previous mistakes So anyway, Gemini, I think that you need to use discernment this month. Do not allow yourself to be a victim. That five of coins is a victim mentality. You may be in your emotions. You may you may be too emotional to make a logical decision. You need to you really need to be practical here. You need to be realistic. You're going to have to really ground yourself. Okay? Get get real with yourself. We have a we have a we have a choice that needs to be made in regards to the past or the future. I think that you should focus on the future. And if this is a job offer, some of you may be clinging to a job that doesn't see your value, that doesn't see your worth, and you receive another offer. Take it. This is what exactly what this is. Whether it's job or relationship, you have a better offer. Wait for it. Go for it. Take the new offer. You That way you will get the happiness and the wish fulfillment and the abundance that you deserve. So you are going to get two offers or you already, you're going to get a new offer. Okay, you're going to get a new offer and then there's the past. And I feel like you've been waiting. You've been waiting for something. Here it is. This is what you've been waiting for. This is the beginning of a new life. Should you choose to let go of the past? You have to choose to focus on the future. I think that you've been dealing with somebody that is emotionally unavailable and they may have ghosted you, they may have abandoned you, or they used you, or something like that. They didn't see your value, that's for darn sure. I think the chapter is over with that person and you have a new beginning. But I think that you're going to be going through some turbulence to make a choice to bring closure to the past. Good luck.